नमस्ते थैंक यू फॉर दिस इवनिंग टू बी टुगेदर इट्स सो नाइस सो ब्यूटीफुल एंड इट शोज योर इंटरेस्ट ऑन दिस नॉलेज पार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैड वाज अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट योगा फॉर वुमेन एंड ऑन सम लेक्चर्स ऑन द इंटरनेट इट स्टेट्स दैट द वेदर्स से अ गर्ल अ देवी फॉर व्हिच वी आर ऑल देवीज एंड यू आर ऑल क्वेश्चन हु इज आस्किंग Okay. Is already born with consciousness in the Sahasrara chakra. Take a minute. Who says that Devi means women born in Sahasrara chakra? Where you got this information? So I got the information from the lectures. From the? From the lectures in the internet. Internet. Okay. Yes. Huh? Best. Yes. Okay. And next. This is why her energy moves from the top to the bottom, helping the male Shiva energy to rise. That that is why women should be protected. They have a different hormonal structure, which is different from men. While a man explores the Muladhara chakra, a woman is under the protection of her family or the state. When a man explores the Svadhisthana and his desires, including sexual ones, a woman can pay attention to him by descending into the Agya Chakra to see him, but not to have a relation in a good way. When a man re- realizes the Manipura Chakra, a woman can talk to him, descending into Vishuddhi, and they both meet in the Anahata Chakra, at which point they move up into awareness. However, when we speak about Kundalini, it appears that the energy out of creativity is moving from the bottom up towards a higher awareness. We already confirmed that yoga is not a religion, but observe the eight steps of Patanjali, which is extremely useful for everyone, including women. But how necessary is it for women to begin? balance and harmonizing in the lower chakras in preparation for the kundalini rising perhaps it's worth starting from the top so maybe the women start from the sahasrara chakra and come down maybe for the women at first we should make harmony in the shushumna nadi at the top rather than the bottom and then fill the muladhara from the bottom to the top It's also what I have understood from lectures that if a woman moves to the lower chakras it means she is having a difficult time in her life. Does this mean that women are generally in a more vulnerable position in the world now that they have to take care of raising kundalini? Good question. Long question, huh? <laughs> Good question, long question. It is not a question I feel it's like a lecture. is just on your understanding you explain yeah that's good i mean uh, so this is uh, really my question uh, i heard this information and i think the theory about uh, um unite energy in anahata chakra, chakra so for me it's uh, like this so before we talk this matter to me and she uh, explained me that uh, kundalini it's uh, something extra um, extra creation <laughs> yes but uh, the theory and kundalini is uh, different and i want to make it uh, clear yes you see for my understanding full this man and women energy are not different emotions are different mental states are different hormonal balance is different Horm- hormones are differently going but the sahasrara chakra all chakras are same both men and women according to my understanding and i have not studied that what you have studied maybe in the future i can study this uh, so that i cannot answer you in a proper manner because i my study is little in this matter okay but uh, 
we have to understand all seven chakras they function differently if you say women should better start meditation from the crown center and women if women are vulnerable because of the lower chakras we almost everyone is vulnerable in many different manners and in this matter i want to tell you in front of a teacher all students are vulnerable you can use your mindset in this way conversion the 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 all religious religions they are converting people in the poor they give money they send a women they send a, something else they give a job they give give some money some food some drinks and the person easily accept easily accept and trapped so almost for me in the lower chakras everyone is suffering in this matter sahasrara chakra this is called shiva this is not shakti shakti is in the lower chakra shakti is called maya you know maya maya means creation shakti is not lower than the shiva shiva shaktya yukta yadi bhavati shakta prabhavitam sundar jalahari won a big very nice uh, poetry written by sankracharya the shakti without shakti shiva is like shava the dead body without shakti the whole universe cannot run shakti right stay in the muladhara chakra why she holds you the feminine energy hold all universe this a mother earth is in the below rest everything resides on her if shakti stay here then you do not feel your presence your presence is gone do you feel your body do you feel your breath do you feel your family do you feel the hunger do you feel the thrust do you feel the music do you feel the beautiful nice beautiful scenery the pain the pleasure the ananda this everything is shakti that's why when shakti stay here she only can dwell with shiva not dwell anywhere else when shakti from the mulahara chakra goes to the upper direction and meets shiva here then what happen shiva and shakti become one and then oh, your universe is finished existence finished for you nothing exist only the 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 only experience of the self understand now what we experience we experience our body you don't know now in the time we experience our body we experience our pleasure and pain we are experiencing what we are not so my dear friends that is my point understand so shiva stay here shakti stay in the below but the when this book that we studied or any things here i do not know this the vairavi the stay vairavi shakti has a different forms how many forms nine forms of shakti how many forms nine form now is a nine nights of Shri, the uh, navaratri you know nine form of shakti is there when shakti is in muladhara chakra she takes care of you hold you like a mother when shakti is in the, in the sakram then shakti make you and give you pleasure when the shakti 
in, in, in the Sadhisthana, it gives you strength, power, courage. When the Shakti stay in your heart, she gives you love, compassion, kindness. When Shakti stay in the, in, the, in the throat center, she gives you peace. When Shakti gives you, uh, stay in the, in the Ajna Chakra, she gives you buddhi, intelligent, the knowledge. When Shakti stay here, she gives you nothing. But she means the, he, she has different forms, assimilated and meet with her and nothing you feel. And that is the primarily called Samadhi. That is called Samadhi. When Shakti, we all experience, am I right? You ex when you have strength, you experience your strength. When you are fear, you experience the fear. Understand? So, if you have love, also you feel the love. But where you do not experience Shakti in many different forms, but experience, ex experiencer become one. You don't feel, you do not experience. When you experience something that is different from you, I see you all, it means you all are different from me. Am I right? But when you ex when experience finish, then you remain only. That is the samadhi. That in the tantra also this called this Shiva Shaktiya Yukto means meeting of Shiva and Shakti. This that's called here is Kailash. What is this? Kailash. Where Bhairava and Bhairavi both stay here. Understand? They do not do any creation when they stay here. So, this is my understanding. <laughs> yes, another Wait, question. Yeah, question number two. Has, uh, why is cutting of the tongue for swamis and monks in Gajari Mudra not himsa, self-harm? If the higher consciousness has created your tongue in such a way that it does not fall back into the throat, then should we not accept it? Otherwise, it does not correspond to sandosha. If I think of it another way, if I have a desire, i.e. a desire to do the Gechari Mudra, then I cannot stop harming myself and that becomes a problem. Who's question? Okay, so a nice thought of you. Yes. It's our eh? It's our question. Your question? Oh, is your question? So, if this khachari mudra cutting the tongue is a violence, I want to ask you one question. Doing caesarean for the baby come out is a violence. When baby is there and some problem happen and doctor do the cut, is, a, is it a violence? No. When you have a heart problem, it is, is doing the surgery is a violence. It's not a violence. So our body is Complete. Our body is complete. We don't need anything else. We make problem, that's why disease comes out. Imbalance of the tridosha is the disease. For normal people, they don't need this Khachari Mudra. Normal people, they, it's not, they don't need it. We cannot accept that everyone in this world can practice this Khachari Mudra. Only the yogi people, those who are want to go in that level, they only practice this. And sometimes life is too short. Yogi experiment and ex experiment this. If you do little little changes, is man easily can perform this. 
and and that, that's why they have different kind of things this is not a violence because you are not going to harm to anyone else and if you are harming yourself just cutting the tongue it doesn't mean that your tongue is properly is going to be uh, disabled for whole life no your tongue is not going to disable you will have your tongue properly but little pain will happen taking little pain is not violence taking pain is a is patience when you have a pain in your life do you think you are doing violent people are suffering every day morning to living they are suffering if suffering is violence then then this is also violence but the suffering is not violence sometimes we suffer for good things sometimes we suffer for bad things understand sometimes when to to save others when you suffer to save someone's life if you suffer it is it violence for yourself no to experience the higher reality to experience the highest pleasure of the spirituality if you do this kind of things not a problem but if you do with, with ignorant way it is a fully violence and ignorance it destroy your life you cut this i don't know how to use this and your mind is changed you never practice this is just is it is just your waste of time energy and too much pain you bear for what nothing is going to happen in your life you just by cutting the tongue nothing happens but if you practice if you are a serious practitioner if you want to dedicate your life in the practice for whole life then do it from a right teacher sometimes people are doing this kind of uh, siddhasana suppose siddhasana you know siddhasana is what no. siddhasana when you put the heel heel in your uh, sac- in, in between the sacrum and anus genitals and and anus this is the place there called mula band there okay when you hold this when this hold this position for long time you know then what happened the circulation of your sexual energy will stop and then brahmacharya is established brahmacharya is established and you can control your sexual energy but uh, if you continue to practice this why are you-